right, we're here with Baycats, DH, Ryan Rio. Ryan, huge win against the Jackfish today. You're now within a game and a half of first place. What are you guys feeling going into the like, last 10 games of the year? Um, I think uh, I've been saying it the whole year, and it's so nice, like our squad, like if someone has an off day, we pick each other up, like obviously today. I didn't, I didn't produce the way I normally do, but everyone else picked up and, you know, um, Noel with that big home run and Malik coming in clutch after I moved him over, that's huge and that's just a big team win and I think, uh, I think we can make a real push here at the end and maybe win the pennant, so. Uh, we're losing a couple guys due to uh, college commitments. Uh, what does it take for this team to uh, pick up on those guys, uh, like guys leaving the roster? Well, hopefully Noel, we can, uh, I think we're going to be talking to his coach at school and trying to convince him to let him stay a little bit late um, and I, I think I think that'll be fine I mean he's going to the senior year and there's no way that kid doesn't start no matter what at college um, obviously it hurts uh, losing Cote and then Plumpy getting injured there but you know that's why we have we brought Jaco in and you know after the surgery he's healed up and I think he's gonna come come in clutch down the stretch and you just have so much depth I mean you take me out of the line you take anyone out of the line and we can find someone to fill it that's had success in this league thanks Bernsey and uh, this guy's throwing rocks. He was throwing rocks at a seagull earlier, too. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, uh, anyways, yeah, you can take anyone out of this lineup. We have so much depth and a bunch of people that come off the bench that have had success in this league. So it's amazing. <laughs> All right, last one for you. Uh, what was the approach like going today uh, facing uh, Guerrero, the starting pitcher? Obviously, oh, oh my God. Obviously, um, throws the bat. We have, uh, the guy's a really good pitcher, and he pitched for Panama, I believe, was in um, the World Series there, though. What was it? The, uh, the World Classic. But you know what? We've seen a lot of good pitching this year, and I, I think it takes a special kind of pitcher to beat us. And it's, it's something like kudos to him because like, he, he was sharp today, and I just we got him when we could, and we took advantage. I mean, approach never changes you know be aggressive stay aggressive and our runners running running a mess up there and when you see that there like um Kines on second just being a little menace out there it gets in the pitcher's head and then boom noel hits a home run so right real from there <laughs> so n approach never changes but we're just go out here having Ryan, fun real <laughs> yeah awesome well thank All you right, very thank much you congrats guys. on the Appreciate win it. thank you all right we're here with baycats left fielder noel mcgarry doyle and noel and uh, heavyweight champion of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Got the belt on for that huge home run today. Yeah. Uh, what was your approach against Guerrero, the starting pitcher today? Um, see it early, get attack early. Um, we had a pitching report on him, and he's mostly fastball early. So I just sat in fastball, and that's what he gave me, and that's what I took for a ride. Uh, you're leaving for school in the, in the coming days. Uh, what are you going to remember most about this season and uh, with your time at the, as, with the Bay Cats as a whole? Um... Just the environment we got here, the fans, the teammates, you know, everybody here just plays a part in the memories that I make here. Right, and uh, last one, uh, Frank Garces had a great performance today. Uh, mm -hmm. Did you have any, uh, you know, any any doubt? Like there was, you know, back to back complete games. Like, what was your favorite part of the outing today? Um, right at the end there, being able to close it out. You know, had a lot of pitches on him on the day. And just being able to battle through that and finish it out on the ninth was a lot for us. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on the thank win. You. All right, we're here with Baycats manager Josh Matlow and Josh. Uh, Frank R says, back to back complete games. I mean, what can you say? Like, uh, Vintage Frank. Uh, that's all <laughs> I can say. We call him Frank the Take for a reason. He didn't want to give up the ball. Even I looked at him in the seventh, sixth, seventh, and eighth, and he wouldn't look at me. Uh, and then the ninth inning, I gave him a look. He gave me a look. He goes, no chance I'm coming out. And he just wanted it. Uh, was there any different type of philo uh, philosophy putting Frank in, have him already face well in three times this year? Was there any? Nope, no? not at all. Uh, we, we, we gave them our best. He, he lined up. I mean, uh, they keep saying that we're, we're lining him up on purpose, but they, we play each other on the weekends, and that's when Frank typically pitches. So he'll probably pitch next weekend too. Um, that's just kind of how it works out. But we're, we're chasing a pennant, and these are important games, and Frank wants the ball, and it's hard to, <laughs> hard to not give him the ball. Right, exactly. Uh, with a few guys leaving for school you know, in the coming weeks, uh, what can we see change in the lineup going forward? Well, that was the point of the depth, right? We knew that it was time was coming, and uh, unfortunately, it's it's right around the corner. Um, but we have guys ready, and we have guys who are hungry, and we're going to give them opportunity. In the next few games, you'll start seeing maybe some new alignments and just kind of fit some guys in and get some guys um, ABs, innings, to get qualified. But um, everyone is here to play, and that's all I can ask as a manager. 
And last thing, uh, huge crowd today. Uh, how does that feed the guys in the dugout in the clubhouse uh, during or during the game, after the game, going forward? That's exactly what it is. The energy. Um, the energy was was early. Uh, it kind of tapered off a tad. Uh, my dad got here and then it got loud again. <laughs> uh, but all in all, it's great to see the kids are running the bases, are having fun with uh, you know their their heroes, and they're getting autographs. And this is what it's all about. And just to see it all come together, and we're playing great baseball, and we're I think winning a few games in a row, and uh, we're chasing a pennant. And, and I couldn't be happier with the squad we have. Well, thank you very much. Congratulations on the win. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.